it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts another reading vlog, so stay tuned. So it is currently about 11.30 in the morning on Tuesday, June 11th, and I didn't really vlog anything yesterday because, well, I was mostly just editing all day. I didn't get a whole lot of reading done. I listened to a little bit of my audiobook of Petals in the Wind, but I can't tell you what chapter I'm on because for some reason not all of the chapters are like announced. Like it doesn't tell you when you're switching from chapter to chapter on some of them. Some of them it does, some of them it doesn't. So I can listen to like three chapters before I hear the next chapter number. Um, but I'm currently at 31% of that. Xander and I read just a tiny bit more of my life after now, and I'm on page 186 of this. But now I'm going to go and get changed and stuff and get Xander ready, and we're going to head over to Donna's, and we're all going to go to the pool today, which will be fun. And I'll probably bring you along. Maybe. We'll see. All right. I'll talk to you later. six o'clock on Friday evening and I have been terrible at vlogging this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> I currently have this uh, dye stuff in my hair right now because I needed to touch up the color. But I thought while I was sitting here, I would do a little check in with you, let you know my reading so far. But also because there's like no footage for this week so far really, I thought I would also do my BEA and book con non-bookish haul so all the things that I got that were not books or yeah anyway <laughs> say hi to Sasha <laughs> so as for my reading I have been continuing reading Petals in the Wind by DC Andrews and I'm I finished chapter 14 today and that puts me at 37% for that. And yesterday, Xander and I finished My Life After Now by Jessica Verdi. And I would give this four and a half stars. It was really, really good. And if I haven't told you in this vlog, this is about a girl who, well, she just has a really bad week. And it seems like everything's going wrong for her. And... She decides that she wants to be completely different from herself for one night. She is this straight A, good student, always does what she's supposed to kid, and she decided for this night she's going to be somebody completely different, and she was going to go out to this bar with her friends with a fake ID, and she got drunk, and she went home with some random guy. Well, that was a big mistake because... They ended up having unprotected sex and she ended up with HIV. This happens very early in the book. This is not really a spoiler, but she has HIV and well, this is all about her trying to deal with that and not only come to terms with it, but also determine who she can rely on and how she can help educate herself and others. Anyway, it's really good. It gave up Xander and I a lot of really great conversations together where we were discussing all of this. And I do recommend this book. Okay, and now on to my non-book items. So first up, and this got a little bit damaged in transit. We have this Babysitter Club poster where 
they all signed it, which is really cool. And I guess some of these are sort of bookish because they're like samplers or whatever, but we got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the journey behind the scenes of the award-winning stage production. And this is just a sampler. This is coming out November 5th, 2019 in a hardcover that's like 224 pages. So that's pretty neat. And then I got my special collector's edition Harry Potter and the Cursed Child program. And I got this from doing the VIP thing just so I could get out of the rain. <laughs> but this is really cool. I also brought home the last show daily. So every day during BEA, you get this massive magazine here that tells you everything that's going on that day. And for BookCon, you get a smaller one each day. I decided I wanted to save the last one because it provides some information for next year's BEA. So I thought that'd be cool to have. Okay, this next thing is actually a book but I didn't want to put it with all of my book stuff because, I don't know, it just wasn't exactly the same. So I have this Practice You journal. I actually have two of them, one for me and one for Xander. And it's really cool with different, like, journaling prompts and sketching prompts and things like that. Like, this is what I admire more, most about myself today. This is how I respect myself. These are my practices. This is how I let love out. This is how I let love in. And it's just a pretty, like, watercolor thing. Anyway, I thought it was cool. Thought Xander would enjoy it. So I was able to get two of those. Okay, a stack of other samplers. We have Conceal Don't Feel a Twisted Tail by Jen Kalanita. And I believe this is the one. Yes, she actually signed that. This is sort of a chapter sampler cookbook. It's a collection of sweets, treats, and female feats in powdered sugar. And it's just like women of history, uh, athletes, pop culture icons, trailblazers. So we've got Betty Ross American flag cake. One of the things that um, they said was a problem with this sampler is anything that was done in white became invisible. So like her bonnet is invisible. <laughs> Eve's sinful apple pie, Joan of Bark, Nefertiti cookies, Sacagawea trail mix bars. Anyway, I thought that was super cute. This is a sampler of Rainbow Rowell's Pumpkin Heads graphic novel. Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steve Otter. I believe this is a sticker of Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls. It looks like this part here is a sticker and then also Dogman and his little friend is a sticker. And then I have this little print from, I guess it's the cover of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the illustrated edition, which is going to be on sale October 8th. Sampler of Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. Sampler of Rebel by Marie Lou. Oh, I got this 2019 planner, which is weird because, you know, halfway through 2019 already. But they were passing these out, just like anybody that was randomly standing in line. Because I was actually standing in line for like Harlequin or something. And they just came by and were like, hey, anybody want a journal or a planner? So, got that. So you have a sampler of The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring. Trials of the Apollo, Book 4, The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. I got this little luggage tag thing from Photos Travel. It says that on this side. And on the other side it says, The World is a Book and Those Who Do Not Travel Read Only One Page by St. Augustine. Which is cool. I got several totes that you'll see throughout this little mini haul. So the first one is one that was very, very popular. Lots of people like wanted this bag. And it says, 
Time to turn on the unicharm on this side. And it's got the little unicorn. And then on the side it says unicorn is maybe not so great after all. The other side says, I'm back. And then the other side is the same. This is actually a huge tote and it's got like a nice big square bottom. And the straps were rainbow. I also got this penguin teen bag that says, we are what you read. And on the other side, it's kind of messy right now. This bag got very wet. <laughs> this side says, Some Infinites Are Bigger Than Other Infinites by John Green, The Fault in Our Stars. This was another very popular one. And every time I see this bag, I think of Kevin from The Irish Reader. It says, Kevin the Unicorn. And we've got little pink straps. And on the other side, it says, It's not all rainbows. Even unicorns have bad days. And then I got lots of goodies tucked away in this bag. So I have a bookmark for the Draconian series. Looks like that. And there's the information on the back. I also got this inflatable globe from Fodar's Travel. So I'm going to be giving this to Xander. Okay, so from the Good Advice Cupcake, I got one of their little stress balls. I think I have two of them, but I don't know. I may only have one. This says, grab life by the balls. And the Instagram is the good advice cupcake. Super cute. I thought I'd give that to Marty. Then I have my playbill from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 1. A little fan they were passing out for Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse on sale January 14th, 2020. This is a Rick Riordan Presents. This is incredibly helpful because I was getting hot up in there little keychain I thought I'd give to Xander. It says, stay strong, and it's like a little boxing glove. And then we have this little pocket folder for Crush. It's super cute. And inside, there's actually like a word search, there's a coloring page, and then there's a page about the books. I thought Xander'd like that. Got this cool Dragon Watch poster, also for Xander. Okay, so Rick Riordan was passing out this Reed Riordan Demigod Map Relations and Ships. And I guess it shows like how all of these different characters are connected from the different books and stuff. Anyway, it looks really cool and it's a puzzle. Okay, these adorable little ladies, they gave me this pouch full of goodies. So we've got a little zipper pouch. And inside of it, it's for their book, Dotty Sprinkles, Fairy Special Winter Wonderland. It's the Fairy Godmothers. And it's cute. There's a keychain. There's their business cards. We got a magnet, a bookmark, a few different business cards. So that's just in there. So Chapters Interactive Stories, which is like a little game app, like choose your own adventure type thing, but they do like all romancy stuff. I think they do other things, but mostly I think it's all romance kind of things. They were there and they had this little holographic thing for the book or for the story Touch and Go. And then on the back it has like a thing to unlock a premium scene. Got this sparkly lanyard that says Madam Weatherby's Academy of Magic, A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. Got this Lion Forge lanyard. Actually, I got two of those. Got this super cute Brandon Mole Smarter Than a Monster pin. And how cute is that? As y'all saw, I got all those strand bookmarks. I also got like a million different business cards and stuff from other booktubers and authors and just all kinds of people. Uh, we have a bookmark for Gender Queer. Looks like that. A Brandon Mole sticker that says Smarter Than a Monster, A Survival Guide. This pack of art from the different Twisted Tale books. 
Got a ton of different bookmarks here. We have one for No Ivy League, Witchy, different clubhouse ones, different Caracol ones, Mooncakes, Debbie and Pearl detec Digital Detective, Bookcation bookmark. I have a sticker from the Good Advice Cupcake that says, I'd rather be reading. It's super cute. A bookmark for Hat Haven. A couple of Read with Pride bookmarks. I think I got two of these, but I don't know where the other one is. It must be in a different bag. But these are Brandon Wool, Dragon Watch, Master of the Phantom Isle. Um, little post-it notes. So we have, it comes in this cute little case like this. And so we have post-it notes, and then these are like little page tabs cute. Okay, I got a ton of pins. So we have one from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and it says, hashtag keep the secrets. I have two of the read with pride pins. I have a Zozo zombie pin. I heart audiobooks. Magic Misfits member. And a Kingdom Hearts pen. Okay, so that's all that's in that bag. I also got this bag here. The other side says, I believe in comics. It's just got stuff that I brought. If you watched my vlog, you saw that I got these caramelized pecans rolled in hazelnut praline and fine cocoa powder. They are so good. I got this Love Your Bookstore uh, source books t-shirt. Super cute. I actually somehow ended up with two of those. I got two of these Harry Potter and the Cursed Child tumbler collector mugs. And they have that little nest thingy on the front and then the title on the back. If you saw my little strand haul that was in my vlog, you saw that I got this strand books t-shirt. It's so soft. I got Xander a pencil pouch. It says a book nerd. And it's got the little rainbow heart on the back. I also got myself a book nerd t-shirt. Which I think is my dirty clothes somewhere because I was wearing it for book con. I also got Xander and I both a pair of book nerd pride socks. They have the little book heart or rainbow heart on them as well as book in rainbow and on the other sock it says nerd in rainbow and then I got Xander and I both the little rainbow library card mine is on my book nerd shirt somewhere I believe okay I also got this purple bag I forget what it came from oh hatchet audio also I got this Television for Serious Readers, C-SPAN 2 Book TV, created by cable. They were passing this out in line when people were just kind of waiting to go into BookCon. I got this one that says, hashtag strong women read. And on the back it says bookclubbish.com. I got another one of these unicorn bags. And there's goodies inside of it. So I got this cute little present. It was in the uh, like Joe Hill area. And it came with a cute, cute little sugar cookie of like a, an evil gingerbread man. And oh, I've stuck business cards in here. But also I get like this uh, one month free of amcpremiere.com slash book con. So I can watch like you can binge watch Nosferatu ad free. So that's neat. This is what the show dailies for BookCon actually look like. I got another little fan. This is for chunkyandfriends.com. See Chunky and Friends animated on YouTube. And that's all I got in that bag. I've got an Inkyard Press bag. And it says things I've used as a bookmark. And there are little boxes to check. We have a receipt, another book, my cat, anything but a bookmark. 
got this huge tote from Lion Forge. Got this cute red tote that's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It says, I'm pretty much one of the best people I know. So in here I stuck my book con t-shirt. It's also really soft. And then if you watch my strand vlog, you saw I got Xander some Starry Night socks and Becca some socks as well. I got this bookmark by somebody I think that does a lot of, I'm guessing it's like fan fiction stuff, wefrankel.com. Looks like they do Buffy stuff, Harry Potter stuff, or Henry Potty, Doctor Who, things like that. Got a little print for Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker, and she signed it. She wrote, Melanie, thanks for being you. I got, oh yeah, yeah, so there were scythes walking around, and you would have to say like this special line to them, and you get an envelope. And in the envelope, it would tell you if you were chosen or not. And I was never chosen to get the Ark of the Toll, which I wanted so bad. I think I found the scythes twice. Actually, I found them more than that, but they were always out of envelopes when I found them. But I did get a cool scythe enamel pin here, which was neat. Got this little zipper pouch. A sticker from A Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Hey, look, it's me. Thumbnail. <laughs> These Penguin Pride bookmarks. A sampler of Girl Gone Viral by Arvin Amati. These pins from Permanent Record. Another of the little scythe pin things. I'll probably give Xander the other because he likes enamel pins. I have a pin that says, Who is Martin McLean? Another one of those grab life by the balls, stress balls. I got some little earbuds in a case that says Angels in America. And this came from, I think, the iHeart Audiobooks thing. I'll be giving those to Xander. Oh, from the Babysitter Club booth, I got a pink scrunchie. I got a couple of pencils. They both say the same thing. Uh, on one side it says, hashtag girl with sharp sticks. And the other says, some of the prettiest flowers have the sharpest thorns. I got a pack of extra gum. I was able to choose between watermelon and cinnamon, I think. And I picked watermelon. Which I'll probably just give these to Xander because I don't chew gum. But they're something to do with the Library of Lost things. So I got that when I got the book. Another one of these things with the post-it notes and page markers. A Penguin Pride sticker. Probably give that to Xander because I think he'd want that. Then we got a bunch of pins. Here's a Blackstone Publishing enamel pin. A Lit Joy Crate pin. Kindness is my superpower. A Star Wars Lost Stars. From Underline we have a Serial Reader. And a, another Magic Misfits member pin. And I think that's everything from my non-book haul. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to go because I need to rinse this stuff out of my hair. And I will just talk to you later. So, as you can see, I finished with my hair. I got it all touched up in the color and uh, I got the filming done that I needed to do and I got some packages today. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the smaller one first. Okay, so this is a box that Crate Joy sent me so that I could show you guys. This is the Magical Earth and it's what came in that smaller one and I had to send them my birthday for this one, I believe. Not sure why, but. Okay, so opening it up, looks like this. So, 
I got a little card here on top. I got a few cards here on top. Looks like that. All right. So I think this is like the spoiler card, but it does have like a little bit of uh, tells about the theme. So it says June 20th to July 20th. Happy summer solstice to all. This month centers around a few things. It's a great time to reinforce your intentions for the year that you set in January. Use your incense to do this. It is also summer solstice and a time for your mystical and magical creatures. And there's like all their contact information here on the back. Okay. Then we have this little envelope here. It has this little design stamped on it. And if I were to find Taurus, it's right here. And it says fixed earth. Don't know if that means anything or not. But let's open up the envelope. Oh, okay. So this is why I had to tell them my birthday. So there's a thing here that says Taurus. Utilize your determination and your innate ability to attract what you need. Savor the beauty of nature to replenish and strengthen yourself while engaging creative energy. Finding yourself in a state of gratitude for what it is will help you transcend limitations. So, that. The back looks like that. Then there's like a little card here that says, For more information about your on natal chart and working with your personal innation cycles, contact me for a reading. And there's that. And this card says the full monthly report of major planetary energies influencing all astrological signs highlights the prominent effects of the planetary relationships on all 12 of the zodiac signs for the stated astrological month there will also be an additional theme statement included for your specific sun sign during the same month okay so i'll have to read through this at some other time but this says cancer june 21st through july 21st inner self and outer expression archetypal traits and developing qualities the nurturer mother goddess good father exploration of emotions and there's a whole lot of stuff written really small in here so i'll read that later then we have this little card here it says incense blending helping you connect to the power of the sun marking the longest day of the year the summer solstice is a time to celebrate the light and the beginning of summer on this midsummer day around june 21st the sun is the closest to the earth and it's time to catch some solar rays and enjoy the growth in and around us for many pagans this midsummer also known as litha is believed to be a magical time when the veil between this world and the next is thin it's the perfect time to connect with the elements and to craft some homemade incense for your upcoming midsummer celebration Combining herbalism with the zen-inducing art of aromic, aromatic magic, the act of blending herbs for the purpose of sacred ritual dates back to the earliest roots of our human heritage. The point is to create something unique to you. You can add all of the ingredients or just a couple. Pick those which resonate with you. And then it tells you like all of the incense slash herbs included and like what they're good for and all kinds of stuff. Again, not going to read all of that on here. Then we have like a tarot card. So this is the back. And the front is X wheel. Cool. So I guess this is the wheel of fortune and this thing here tells all about it. If you want to read that, you can pause. Okay, we have a little baggie in here with a card and a pretty stone. So the stone looks like so. It's really pretty. And this is yellow fluorite. Feels really cool in my hand too. Yellow fluorite enhances creativity and stabilizes group energy. It's particularly effective for people in group situations. <laughs> this would have helped at BEA and BookCon. I just throw it at somebody. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but if you want to read it, here it is, and I will pause it so you can, or you can pause it if you want to read it. Okay, then we got one of the herbs for the incense, I guess. 
This is Jasmine. Then we have another little baggie here. It's got something wrapped inside. Ooh, this is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Okay. Okay, it's very shiny for one. It's just got like a purple tone to it. And this is Lepidolite. This wonderful stone for promoting joy, gratitude, and self-love, yet all in an extremely calm and serene way. And there's a lot more said. And I will put it here again. If you'd like to read it, you can pause. There it is. Okay, here's another one of the herbs. This is goat's rue. And here's the last herb. This one is rosemary. There's also this big, heavy thing here. Oh, this is cool. So, I think, hold on. There's stuff inside it too. Okay, so there was another big package so I, that goes with this, so I went ahead and opened it. We have a mortar and pestle. I mean, this thing's heavy. It's a big stone. This is really cool. Okay, this says it's soapstone. So awesome. So I think that's what you use to make your incense. Anyway, there was a couple of things inside of it. So the first one is this really cool stone. It's called a desert rose. I mean, how freaking cool is that? And here's what it says about the desert rose. So if you want to read that, you can pause it. Okay, so next is this it says dragon slash griffin jar our mystical gift so it is this dragon here it looks like it's got holes here for you to put it on like a necklace or something and a cork so you can take off and i guess this is what you put your incense that you grind up into i don't know but that's pretty cool. And then there's another little baggie. A lot in this tiny little box. Okay, so it is a necklace. And on the necklace, we have this little bottle. And this little fairy sitting on like a moon there. And what it says here is you put this in the sunlight and charge it and it glows in the dark. That's really cool. Okay, that was a really cool box. I was really impressed. I'll make sure to put all the information for this box down in the description below. If you're interested in it, you should definitely go and check it out. Definitely a high quality box, in my opinion. I'm really excited for this mortar and pestle. I don't really know what I'll use it for other than this incense thing, but I mean, it's just such a cool piece. And Xander, he really likes all the cool stones and stuff. So I'll be giving him those and the little cards with the information. Now on to the big box here. I'm so excited for this. So if you didn't already know, I put up this picture on Instagram. And it was for a little contest that Canterbury Classics was doing at like BEA and BookCon and if you took your picture in front of this wall with a bunch of like rainbow shelves and you tagged them and all of this stuff they would pick a winner and apparently out of the 339 entries they chose mine and I was just like yay I was totally not expecting that at all and oh, I just thought that was so awesome. So my prize was I got to choose any five of the word cloud books, which I love those. My Frankenstein, and I think I have Wizard of Oz 
in the word cloud books and they have like the quotes and stuff imprinted on the covers which I think is really really cool so anyway I got to pick five of those plus they're also sending some other goodies so this is my prize also I'm hoping that whatever's inside is okay because it looks as though my box got a bit crushed in the mail so hopefully it's all okay opening it up and it looks like this Okay, first I'll show you the five books that I picked. The first one is Emma by Jane Austen. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, it's so soft. It's, oh. Ooh, that writing is tiny. Y'all see that? Oh my goodness. I chose this one because I know that Clueless it's like a retelling of Emma, and I thought I would really enjoy it. Plus, it's pink. I mean, it's so cute. I also picked The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is a very short book, but still, that, that text is tiny. Um, but I've heard really, really good things. From a lot of other booktubers about this book so i thought i would check it out so i got that one. Oh, this one's pretty it's like gold this is the beautiful and the damned and other stories by f scott fitzgerald and oh it's so pretty the like title and author are in this pretty green foil It's thick. So the stories we have in here. The Beautiful and Damned, The Offshore Pirate, The Ice Palace, Head and Shoulders, Bernice Bobs Her Hair, The Jelly Bean, The Diamond As Big as the Ritz, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Besides it being absolutely gorgeous, I really like The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and so I thought I would check out the other stories in here. Next, we have A Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like hollow. I don't know if you can actually see that in the thing or not, but that is really pretty. Ooh, that's also really pretty. Oh, and there's some illustrations. I picked this because, well, I really like Peter Pan. And next, you're not going to be surprised by this one either. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. And this one is so pretty. It's like this crystally pink font on this blue book. And it is just beautiful. Ooh. Wow. There's also illustrations in this one. Okay, I didn't look at the end pages of these others. Okay, so the beautiful and damned looks like that. The picture of Dorian Gray looks like that. And Emma looks like that. So here are the five books that I picked. They're so pretty. Now let's see what all goodies I have in here. So I have a little pen here that says Canterbury Classics. I have a, a tote bag that says Canterbury Classics and their website on this side and books and more books on the other side and this is I don't know what kind of material this is it's super silky feeling it's not silk but it's very silky feeling it's a really cute tote I also got a bookmark. It got a little bent, but that's okay. Anyway, looks like that. And the other side looks like that. And then I have something wrapped up here. Feels like a mug. That is so pretty. So it looks like this. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. That was so cool that I won that. 
Anyway, I haven't really read anything else since the last time I checked in with you because well, I've been filming and stuff. And now I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go and help Marty over at the other house for a little while. Because we've got cleaning and stuff we have to do over there. And then it'll be time for bed. So I guess I'm going to go and I will talk to you tomorrow. So it's currently Monday, June 17th. So I need to wrap this vlog up. I have been so busy with working on the other house and trying to get videos edited and then Marty's parents ended up coming on Friday and they left on Saturday and took Xander with him. So I just I haven't had a huge amount of time for reading. So really this week the only book that I managed to finish is My Life After Now. I continued with Pillars of the Earth. We are on page 215 of this. So 215 is only this much of this massive book. Um, I got through chapter 14 of Petals on the Wind by V.C. Andrews. And I'm buddy reading both Pillars of the Earth and Petals in the Wind. And Marty and I listened to a tiny bit more of Ruin, Ruins by Dan Wells. And we're currently at 25% on that. So that's it as far as my reading goes. Sorry if this is a short vlog. Honestly, I don't know what I have vlogged this week. And I'm a little bit sunburned because I've spent the entire day working mostly outside at the other house trying to get the other house ready to go on the market which is taking way 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 too long and my body is so completely exhausted from pulling weeds and scrubbing bathrooms and i'm tired <laughs> but hopefully i was able to show you some good stuff this week at this point i can't remember anything before Friday <laughs> but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video and if you did give me a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this or hopefully better <laughs> click that subscribe button down below and until next time remember to always be completely you bye